Okay. okay. Um, hello. I'm here with Stephen Webb. Hello, sir. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Um, you're playing Cooper Fitzgerald. I am. In Betwixt. Betwixt, the musical. Yeah. It's yes. awesome. I saw it the other day. Oh, you did? Loved it. Good. I'm glad. Um, can I just say, I have to do this. I have to. Go on. You make a wonderful queen. Oh, thank I you. Thank Amazing. you so much. Fabulous queen. Fabulous. Uh, you haven't brought me a crown or anything then? Uh, should I have? Is that, well, is that bad? Well, bow, at least. Oh, so. There we are. Yes, <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Okay, I feel better now. Good. Do you want to get my head chopped off? No. Exactly. no. Um, so, tell me about your character. Um, well, Cooper Fitzgerald, um, well, the, the, um, the show centres around a New York writer called Bailey with, with yeah. writer's block, and Cooper Fitzgerald turns up one day claiming to be his new roommate, which he, he wasn't aware of. Uh-huh. And um, before they can properly be introduced to each other, they're catapulted into a, a parallel world, uh-huh. um, uh, where so much is going on. There's um, three triplets, um, played by the wonderful Ellen Green, um, the evil enchantress, the nymph queen, and the princess. Yeah. And the nymph queen and the enchantress have been exiled because they're bad. Bad people. Bad people. Bad. We don't like them. No. And the princess is pregnant because she got knocked up at the state ball. And if they don't find what? the person who knocked her up, she'll be exiled. What? Then if they find the person who's knocked her up, and he is switched with his counterpart in the real world, who's a fading TV star. And we are sent on a mission to find and s- solve everything. Basically. Wow. But it's um, wow. also it's a it's a metaphor about creativity. Yeah. Helping because he's suffering from writer's block. It's about looking inside oneself and and finding and becoming that person that is in yeah, there. Yeah, it has a nice story. Yeah, yeah I really like it. Yeah, um, and it's, some of it's just so ridiculous, but then it's got this underlying story. It does. It does. And um, it's extended. Woo! It has. We have it extended. Tenth of September. Tenth of September. Love it. We're going Love to it. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, do you think audiences are enjoying it? We have had such an incredible response because um. It's when we were rehearsing it, we we knew the ins and outs of it and sort of the yeah. subplots, and so we all knew everything about it. And so it, until you put it in front of an audience, you're not sure if they're going to go with it or if it's too specific. Yeah. But the response from day one has just been absolutely fantastic. It really has. Good, good. See more. See it. Suddenly yeah, see more. What? Suddenly see more. <laughs> 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 see you, oh, you clever. Yeah. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're so funny. Do you know what else is funny? What? Your hair toss. Yeah, my, I love it. my hair toss. Uh, we, could t- we could sort you out with one. Really? Yeah. We'll oh do it. Oh, when we finish this, we're going to sort it. Oh, that's. A, I'm going to learn a hair toss. Yeah. Um, so let's go back. Yes, back. Way, way back. Well, not way back because you're a baby okay. still. Well. Um, ten years old. Yes. Oliver. Oh, wait a minute, I am now. You're no, not now, no. Are you? No, um, oh, no, good. no, no, no. Wow. Not still. Um, yes, Oliver, when I was 10 years old, that's yeah. pretty much when I started, and I did it at the Palladium here. Yeah. Um, was it scary? I mean, 10. Well, no, that's scary. the thing. Because I was 10, I had no inhibitions, and I just remember running around singing and dancing and had yeah. no cares. Whereas if you know, if I had to do that now, I'd be humming myself. <laughs> I mean, uh, Lee roll at 10. Some people can't do that at 20. So well, abs- well, I think but it is, there is something about the innocence of youth. Yeah. But, um, you just don't feel that sort of pressure. It hasn't developed in you yet. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'd be terrified to do it now. But I, I just went with it at the time. That's good. Yeah, it's a good great. start. And now we're what, 17 years you later. You don't need to tell people that. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so another musical, another new musical you did. Yeah. Departure Lounge. Departure Lounge, yes. Well, it's funny because I hadn't really done a musical since I was 10 when yeah. I did Oliver. And, um, and I've been doing sort of straight dramas and plays <coughs> and some TV and film. And um, then Departure Lounge, um, it had it done Edinburgh and it had been around for a, a short amount of time. And um, I heard the music and just thought it was unbelievable. And I absolutely adored it and fell in love with it. And, um, and I've, got, I've got a passion for new writing and, and musical theatre. I think sometimes it, it's hard to get good new musical theatre out there. It is, it is. And even though I love some of the, the long running greats, so, you know, I'm a fan of some of them, but then. It's such a shame that some wonderful new music uh, musicals that are written get such a short run and they close so because of that's true. Word of I'm, mouth. That's true. I mean, I'm I'm very hot on new stuff. You are. But yeah, I really support it. I love it. Me I too. Mean, like um, lend me a tenor closing. I know it's it's, it's a tragedy. It's so sad. It's um, hair. Yeah. Why? I know it's it's a it's a real shame and you know and there are some great like our producer Christopher D. Clay. Yeah. He's um he's got a passion. Uh, the, the same passion I have for new musical theatre and getting it out there and getting it seen and it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it for um, 
for fame or a profit, yeah, and he's yeah. not doing it for fame or a profit. No, it's no, just it. about the love of it and wanting just, even if it's 98 people a night that can see it. And how, um, how do you think we can attract more people? I mean, people go and they like uh, jukebox or yeah, famous jukebox faces. Musicals, yeah, I mean, I think we're slowly getting there. I think it, we've, we're, sort of, we're sort of coming full circle. I think it's, it's taking a long time. Um, but, I mean, just the following sh small shows like Departure yeah. Lounge, you know, I mean, it's still got such a massive following and it's not on anywhere. It's only on for six weeks. Yeah. And so just pushing, and, the, and there are some, there's some great people out there trying to push new, new musical theatre, and hopefully just someone will give it a break and pick it up. Yeah, break. Give it. Give it a break. All new musicals. Yeah. Love it. Um, now, I ask everyone this question. Yeah. Um, annoying mu uh, audience habits. Annoying audience yeah. habits. Yeah, anyone, I mean, you're so close here. It's like, well, yeah, you're I there, mean, you can smell each other. There. You can absolutely smell oh, each other here. Um, so, uh, deodorant. Yeah. Is, is, is <laughs> the a good way to, to start. And um, okay. sometimes uh, people can't make the um, can't see the difference between cinema and theatre. And yeah. so, whereas you can sit there with your bag of sweets at, at the cinema, um, but we can hear you. You can. But um, actually, so it's far, this, the audience has been very well behaved during this, and also it's, this is such close. a ridiculous yeah. maybe, and this is such a ridiculous show that we incorporate the audience into it. You know, there's there's slight winks to them, and yeah. and I, I offer my hand up to one of the audience to kiss at one point. So we Aww. incorporate them. So it's a it's a, a collaboration. Oh, that's good. Nice. So people here are well behaved. Yeah, so far. So far. Yeah. You have been warned. Yeah. Um. So where do you want to go next? What do you want to do? Where do I want to go next? Anything specific or more new stuff? Well, um, new stuff. Yeah. I, I just I love it, and that's um, and people often ask me what what I want to do next, and I say I don't know because it may not have been written yet. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So, so any new people, yeah. new writers. But I'm off to um, man. last year. I um I played Dick Whittington at the Lyric Hammersmith. Yeah. Um and it, it was one of my favourite jobs I've ever done. I wish I could do it all year round. And I'm going back to play Wishy Washy in Aladdin this year. Oh, cool. Which will be great. Do you have to wear stockings? Well, oh. actually, I can't. I can't give it away. But oh. it, they, it's a, it's a different a different spin on Aladdin. So a different spin. I, I won't yeah, tell you quite what I am in it, <laughs> but you have to go see it. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna go now. Yeah, Gotta exactly. see that. Gotta yes. see that. Um. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely to, to meet you. See you. Pleasure. Take care. Oh. 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 <laughs> We're making music. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. <laughs>